Imagine keeping something in your freezer for 17 years. Okay, now imagine that something being a part a pair of cicadas. Do I have to imagine this? No. Oh yeah, it may sound strange, but one grandmother though had a very good reason for doing it. If you've been wondering where's the love, well, we found it in Worthington. Here's 10 TV's Yolanda Harris. They sound the same today as they did 17 years ago when Worthington couple Al and Kitty Arndt were enjoying themselves at the Memorial Tournament. It was 2004, Tiger Woods was on the greens, and you could hear the cicadas loud and clear. That's when Al got an idea. He picked up two of the insects and said he was taking them home. He put them in a Titleist box and said, you know, these are going to be for my grandson, CJ, who at that time, Yolanda, was three and a half years old. Kitty thought that was strange, but sweet. Uh, he said, I want to take him. When he's 17 years from now, I want to take him to Muirfield and give him these two cicadas. In the meantime, they have been in my freezer. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I want to get rid of these things. Fast forward 17 years and CJ is now a 20 year old college student. I mean, what went through your head when you first heard about it? Because it sounds kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I definitely was like, what do you mean you save bugs in the freezer for 17 years? But it wasn't his grandfather who told CJ about the cicadas. Did your grandfather ever say anything to you about having these cicadas in the freezer? No, this is a definitely a total surprise for me. Sadly, in October of 2012, when CJ was just 11 years old, Vietnam veteran Alfred Arndt passed away from cancer. Oh, he was, he was wonderful. He was kind. Um, he loved to golf. He loved his work. He was great with his kids. He loved his grandchildren. He loved his family. And Kitty made sure Al's love of Memorial Day, the tournament, and CJ lives on. Even when I was three years old, he thought about this just for me and shows that really meant a lot to him, and I appreciate it. Yolanda Harris, 10 TV News. Well, CJ says he will keep those cicadas in his grandmother's freezer until he gets his own place. Mm -hmm. And then he does plan to save them for another 17 years and hopefully one day pass them along to his own child. Well, maybe CJ can add to the cicada collection. Yeah. So his grandfather so that he can add some and then continue on down. I've definitely seen plenty out there. We'll have you a should, dozen soon. Yeah, be able to just grab them, <laughs> put them in the freezer. All right.